In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your autopilot self-driving. You tap the car, and go to autopilot, and you're going to see here that the car is on autopilot. Do you want the car to require lane change confirmation? No. Do I want the car to exit passing lane? No. Do I want the car to change lanes by itself, depending on the speed? No. And do I want it to notify me? Yeah. I want it to start at every trip, yes. And then here, there's some options that you, you know, depending to your liking. You can have traffic lights, so it'll slow down and stop on the traffic light, but then you have to give it gas when the light turns green, and it'll stop on the light by itself. So I'm gonna keep that off. And now I'm gonna show you when you're driving how to actually engage it. Well, I have it on single click, which means I will click this one time when I'm between two lanes, and that will set it to auto drive. So here we go for a little cruise. Keep it dry, keep it recording. And you gotta have your seatbelt on. So when you put your seatbelt on, it's one of the stipulations. Now that my seatbelt's on, I'm gonna try to get in between two lanes here. And you will notice, put the window up, you're gonna notice that when I'm in between two lanes, I'm gonna have this gray steering column come up. So here I am in between two lanes. And do you see the steering column? Right there, how it's gray. Whenever that comes up, I tap it one time, now the car is going to drive by itself. No hands, no feet, but I have to pay attention to the steering wheel because it will start flashing blue, which means, hey, where are you at? So you want to have some weight on the steering wheel. So once again, you get in between two lanes, the steering wheel pops up, you see the gray steering wheel? Do ya? See? When you tap it once, it doesn't let you because there's no gray steering wheel. But once the gray steering wheel pops up, then it will let me. Uh -huh. On your marks, get set, go. Now I am in between two lanes, so the steering wheel comes up. See that? Oh, that's great. Just tapped it one time. And now if I want to control the speed, I have it at 40 max, I can go to 45 max, which is five over the speed limit. Usually it limits you to five over the speed limit. If I want to slow down, I can slow down. If I wanted to have measurement, like two, three cars in between me and the next person, there's also an option to do that. The way to disengage it is either tap it again, that'll disengage it, or hit the brakes, that'll disengage it, or just move the steering wheel hard enough. I'll disengage it. If you notice somebody in front of us, it'll stop by itself, even though it's on a motorcycle. And that's about it.